Conversation be with the mayor when you go up to shake his hand. Uh, probably I will tell him, and I, I honestly I, I like him as a person, as an individual. I, what you see is what you get with Rob, Rob Ford. I followed him since he was a councillor, but I think he's really, he's, really, he's he's gone about his life, and I'm, I'm hoping that he'll devote his time to his passions, which is helping disadvantaged kids. Uh, he can he's got choices that nobody else in the city has in the way that he works, and I hope he takes some other choices other than trying to stay here. Thank you very much. Yeah, full name again? It's Ken Wood. Just the video. Okay, the video. All right. Yeah. You set it up for me. He just wants me to videotape it for him. Okay, well you're meant to go up to church. <laughs> okay, I shall do that. What Happy do I need New to do? Year. Oh, thank you. Happy New Year. I'm going. I like your Christmassy outfit. <laughs> I have it already. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, very good to see you. How are you keeping? Are you? Hi. How are you finding the board? It's always difficult. Is it difficult? Just like you guys, you get a group of people with a lot of passion. It's really hard to work together sometimes. Yeah, it's a new day. Yeah. Everybody managing the staff are better. It takes a while because they've been through an awful lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're on the road for it. I've got to say, the city is exemplary in helping us. Animal Services has yeah. been very helpful. We're working hand in glove. And now we have our microchipping truck. I, I'm telling everybody I ever run into with a dog saying, call the city. So tell them to call 311. Yeah, call 311. Find out where the chip truck is. Get the microchip. And then we have to deal with our overpopulation. Yes. And we're all working on it. We're all working on it. So. Is every cat that gets adopted from the Humane Society <laughs> spayed or neutered? Yes, it's a must. Yeah. It's a must. So one of the reasons I got on the board today. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. I think that's so important. Hello. Hello, Hello. Councilor Hello. Fletcher. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's have a good 2013. And uh, let's not have a casino in the city of Toronto. Let's fix the garden or think about the waterfront when we're doing that. And let's not go crazy cutting everything because we need to have a great city and uh, think ahead for 10, 20, 30 years as to how we'll maintain ourselves as a group. No matter what they call you. Well said, Councillor. Thank you for all your public service. Thank you. Hello. Madam Speaker, Happy New Year. You're the former mayor of the old city of York. Of York. So we actually have three mayors, technically. Yes. Yes. I'm kind of committed. I don't ever get to see it anymore. I know. I know. If it doesn't happen, I don't know what's going to happen to See, now I'm in this swat with uh, uh, Steve Monroe. Yeah. I don't get any of his cardamom short bread yeah. unless I turn up yeah. with a new recipe every year. So yeah. the pressure's on. <laughs> you look wonderful. You oh, look gorgeous. Thank you. I just love that purple. Oh, What's your color? Thanks so much. Councillor Carroll. Happy New Year. Thank you for all your service. 
and your support of the City Youth Council for the City oh, of Toronto. Yes, yes. That was a wonderful initiative under everyone's radar. It's very but it's interesting. It has a huge future. <laughs> yes, it does. You. Thank you. Uh, if you, if you tell them to shift the line down. Oh, you bet. Tell them to shift the line down. down. Councillor Angel. Hey, good to see you again. Happy New Year. Happy All New Year. Best to you and your family. Yes. Thanks for coming today. And when's the Scarborough? Next Sunday from uh, the Scarborough Civic Center from 1 to 3 at McCowan in the 401. Okay. Keep it. We'll be Please there. Please come in. Honestly, keep it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Councillor Perutza, thank you for joining Twitter and not blocking me like some other councillors. Thank you. No, no, we don't block. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Councillor Perutza. All the best to you and your family. Thank you. Hi, Ivy. Nice to see you again. Yes. Excellent. Thank you for coming down. Yes, a wonderful red day. and We try and be cheerful and start the new year off right. There we are. For more animal support. Why are engine red? Exactly. There we are. Yeah. Yes, yes. Absolutely. And I'm the guy that's on the board of Johnny and Aaron. I was, I was trying to knock off the cat. They brought a fourth cat home to my house yeah. for Christmas. Yeah. And this little one, he was jumping all over my head last night about 11.30, and I'm trying to you know, shoot him off the bed because the other cats are hissing. Oh, yeah. so, and we got our big golden retriever. I got the zoo at my place. Oh, it's simple. I know. I know. Yeah, my, my so you live with the zoo and you work with the zoo. Uh, that's right. Okay, that's congratulations. That's right. Anybody that loves animals, <laughs> there's something good about it. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. Well, that's like the lint roller I use all the time. Look at it. I got oh, yeah, I know. right here. It's from the cats. I know. Yeah, I have so a white cat. cat for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Councillor oh, yeah, Doug Ford, you. if you recall, on the last day of the previous term of council, we were sitting beside each other, and you forgot your keys, and I called you back, and you said, it's been 10 years since you had actually been in here, and you were watching the yeah, festivities, you know You're right. if you recall that. Yes, yes you know something I do. That's there funny we are. Because it has, had been 10 years. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Yes. Boy, how life changes. Yes, it does. I hope that somehow you're able to bring a little bit more of Mayor Daly's Chicago to Toronto. I'd love to. Because you had spent time there. Absolutely. I'd love to. And we brought some folks from Chicago here, and we went there, and I think there's a great opportunity. A lot of opportunity on our waterfront. Thank you, Councillor. Excellent. Thank you. Councillor and Chair Stinch. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming down. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Less gravy, more trains. Great. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I brought things back to the issue rather than the person. I really admire that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Councillor Hello. McConnell. How are you? Fantastic. It's very nice to see you. 2012 was the year that you finally, with a lot of help, shepherded the Regent Park Aquatic Center. Yes, 18 years it took me, but it's there. What's the next 18-year project that, that, that's about to come? Well, I think uh, where the Pan Am Game Village is and also uh, the new waterfront community will be very important. Great. And making sure that there's community services for the people moving in, um, and that it's a family-oriented uh, neighborhood. So I'm really excited, and I'm waiting for the end of Regent Park so we can start on the next one, maybe uh, uh, very quickly in another part of the city. Thank you, Councillor. Look You're forward welcome. to it. Councillor Layton, how are you? I'm doing very well. How about yourself? Fantastic. So you might be Deputy Mayor. I don't know about that. I think that's still that, that's a long ways off. I'm uh, I'm busy in Ward 19 trying to make sure that we yeah, that's continue my favorite to build a it, it is. You're, you live in Ward 19. Yeah. Or Ward 19 actually produces mayors. Right from former mayor, uh, right Deputy over a century. Deputy Mayor Panaloni, and yeah, over a century. Yeah. Uh, who else was produced in, in the neighborhood? No. no. Old Cicero. Oh, wow. Old Cicero. Well, William knowledge. Peyton Hubbard. See, you need to be writing my tweets. This is... You've got ghost, that knowledge. Ghost You've got that knowledge. Yeah, there you go. That's a great reason. Budget Chief, Hello there. you have an impossible job. You're the only accountant on, on council. And we might pick on you, but it's because we love you and the work that you do. Thank you. My father was an accountant. I feel your pain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know the inside. Right. You just retired. You're a courageous man. And you really need to go to the city of Rome. I do. You know, and I really appreciate it. No, thank you. So thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How are you, sir? Very nice fantastic. to meet you. Fantastic. Again. Again. Um, Hello. Thank you for everything that you do. No problem. It's my pleasure to work on behalf of the residents of the City of Toronto, and uh, it's it's a very great place to live, and we want to make it even greater. Thank, thank you, you and thank you for what you do. 
Because okay, we all, all we're all in, in this together. Yes, we Thanks. are. Happy New Year. Happy, oh, happy New Year. Year. Thank you. Happy New Year, sir. Anyway, so that's the key thing. I mean, you know, it's a, you, you never think the council would be nothing but a bunch of squabbling idiots, but they sort of been working hard to pull it together, you know? Yeah, but, but it's difficult. Yeah, I know, but I'll tell you something else, too. I went through the lineup, and I went down the line, and there was Karen Stitz, and she shook her hand like this. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your leadership. This is You're the one. You've really helped the council together. It's made a difference. City, you know? What did she say? Well, I was almost in tears. She was almost in tears. Did she let me kiss her cheek? Oh my gosh. That's, that's as good as it happens, you know? Oh. And I mean, my view is she deserves it. Because, I mean, first of all, she was appointed oh, yeah. by the mayor. And she changed, yeah, sure. then she changed something. That takes a lot of courage. And then she's done a great job since then. In spite of all the stupidity that's gone on, she's done a great job. She needs to hear this. So this is our chance to do that today for her. Okay? Well, is Mike Layton up there? Yeah. My wind's cool. He's oh cool my too. gosh. He's there too. He's there too. Oh my but gosh. We, Karen's taking the heat because she changed sides. Remember, it takes courage yes, to do I that. Yes, I know. I know. A lot of people. See you guys. Thanks, Dan. See you, See you Don. are now promoting casinos in Toronto. I couldn't say that to the mayor, but I want to. Well, maybe you'll get a chance next levy. <laughs> and you're, you are? Oh, I'm Catherine Sop. And? I'm a, I um, have a little organization called Building Up Our Neighborhoods. It seeks to connect residents to literacy and health. Here's my little symbol. Okay. And uh, the internet address is? At Soplet on Twitter. How do we spell Soplet? S for Sam, O, P for Peter, L, E, T. All right, Ms. Soplet, we will follow you on Twitter. Thank you. We're here with? Carmen Priolo. And you ran for city council in 2006. And you had an idea in your platform about pianos. And we've had Play Me, I'm Yours, a number of pianos here this past summer. And you still have 
some ideas and imagination about that and perhaps you can share that with us. Well, I was born in this city and uh, I think it's one of the best cities in the world. And people tell me, oh, you're asking for too much, you're asking for this and that. And I said, well, you know, as a piano player myself, and have, having uh, experienced what happened with the Play Me I'm Yours uh, promotion for the Pan Panama Olympic Games, I saw people who were truck drivers playing Chopin, you know, like, I mean, see, they had a chance to play in front of people, but they don't necessarily play on a stage or anything like that. And I said, uh, when I ran, I had, uh, I was basically a one-issue uh, fringe candidate, and I ran as a joke. Uh, but I still think that the idea is a good one. I don't have the answer keep up with it or to, to form a, a, a special foundation or whatever, but I think someplace in the city, not necessarily a music district, you know, we have a fashion district here, uh, there's the entertainment district, but within that we should have a place where people can go, if they've written a song about Toronto, or, you know, I think that should be a condition of their playing it. Piano should be there, a good quality piano. Uh, some sort of video uh, to record them and send it out to the world. There's people singing about their city rather than complaining. And whether something comes out of it or not, it's like going to a bocce court or a tennis uh, court or a baseball diamond. I said, we don't have piano players in invited to, to play in front of the public. I says it's all sort of this show business. You got to go to a hotel or, a, or one of the clubs. You got to be on good terms with the management, you know. And you know, then you've got you, know, you meet certain rules or something. But anybody could be like an eight-year-old kid or a senior citizen. He doesn't have to meet any conditions. He goes up there, he plays three songs. One of the songs is about Toronto that he's made up. As far as I know, there's 500 songs that were part of Mayor Miller's contest with Joe Pantalone. 500. 500 songs, entries. Uh, there was a, a, a winning list of 10, and the people who won it, the composers, had, had actually written songs for Anne Murray. But it got no radio play. It was a fairly good song, but I, again, I don't know. I, I sort of, I play music for myself now, and um, people were saying, there's all kinds of clubs, open stages and that, but to me, I don't want to be involved in, you know, the open stage kind of scene. I've, I've done that before, and, and to me, it's like, uh, I don't have the energy, I'm too old, but, but for younger people, like I say, it could be anyone from, you know, a young teenager, to, but mostly a truck driver or whatever, they express themselves musically. And it, it's like... Uh, you use the term Tin Pan Alley. What is a Tin Pan Alley? Well, Tin Pan Alley was the place in New York. Uh, it was uh, a place where uh, they did a lot of songs about for Broadway. And it, it was like it, there were actually tin pans hanging up in the alley because the musicians couldn't afford high rent. And several of the buildings were open. Everyone from Leonard Bernstein and... Uh, and uh, you know, spent time there getting together saying, hey, I got this song, can you add a verse, can you do this, you know. So it generated a whole um, world of music, Broadway, out of that one place, like, you know, it, it was really a marvel. And to me, Broadway music is, is to me, it's a very uh, important part of uh, modern music. So we need something, you imagine something, a place like that, a street like that, an alley like that. An alley Toronto. way behind the Royal Alps or something, I don't know if the Mervish, he's got the golden touch, uh, David Mervish and his father had, you know, for that. or somebody else, but, but you know, I, I really, at, at this point, I, I've sort of lost the focus, I, I, because, because high tech has given everybody the chance to have a fairly good keyboard, Ray Kurzweil, and he invented the keyboard. So you got your key, you could set it up in front of your house and do it, you know, somebody else like, so you're doing this, this... Yeah, just this video. You're, you're on the video, like on the, on the internet or whatever. So overnight it goes viral or something, but if I had, like, uh, you know, if I had a piano and, and I wrote something particularly good this year, my song was just an ordinary song. But I got an art, a feature article in the National Post about it. Mel Lastman gave me a letter. But again... The former mayor. Yeah, former mayor. 
and uh, I generated a little interest. Uh, Shannon Black uh, wrote a very generous article about, you know, uh, so it was a little news of its own. And so you don't know how many wannabe composers live in this city who can, who might come up and become a, a one hit uh, a one hit wonder or something or more than one hit. more than one hit and um, but I don't you know we've got the university faculty we've got we've got uh, all kinds of music schools and everything like that so people say Carmen you know like what are you what are you promoting this for when there's so much to offer there is a lot to offer we're we're a city of the arts. But uh, this seems to be one thing that, uh, in a way, still is lacking. But maybe it's lacking because it doesn't have the, uh, you know, it's, it's time has passed or whatever. But I would still love to see one building with a bunch of pianos in it. And as we said, I, I'm repeating myself. But it's worth repeating. Carmen? Thank you so much for your contributions to our city. You're one of the unsung heroes that I've been watching you for a little while, and I've learned some and been inspired by you. This this is a very devoted man. He's 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 he's, he's a real real Torontonian. He's uh, he he makes an effort to understand all points of view, and uh, I hope one day he gets elected. Whatever. Well, I'm not fishing, trolling for uh, compliments, but. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Thank you very Thank much, Carmen. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. strictly up to the courts and we'll let the courts decide and once the courts decide I guess the next group to decide is council. Um, Rob was first saying that he wanted to go to a by-election now it looks like he's saying he's about to get reappointed by council. Um, did he change his mind as far as you know? Well, what happened? want to save the seven million dollars. Worst comes to worst, go to the people. That's okay. my opinion. But yet, but you'd rather be reappointed than go to the election? Absolutely. I think that, absolutely. Okay. Worst comes to worst, you go to the people. Let the people decide. We had a good turnout today, too, a really good turnout. I don't know if that's saying something, but uh, it reminds me of the first year when we got elected. So you think uh, there was a violation? Yeah, I never underestimate the competition. Yeah. But I'm confident the, the people believe Rob's done a great job over the last two years. Okay. Well, think people are pretty confident. Yeah, they're feeling good. That's a good crowd here, and uh, we just kind of have to continue to save the taxpayers' money. I'm watching every single penny. Respect the taxpayers. Okay.